Hello, welcome back to today's third video. We're going to have a look at the GFS Ensembles for today's third video. We're going to go through all 20 uh, plus members of the uh, GFS Ensemble, see what they're all showing for the early part of February, the opening days of February. We did the uh, Gaswell City Roundup earlier this afternoon, and we, as part of that, we had a look at the um, Ensemble Graph, and it was clear that there were a few really quite cold outlier uh, GFS Ensemble members members appearing for the final uh, stages of that graph. So that's sort of the first week of February. Um, and I said we'd have a look at it this evening, go through the ensemble members individually, see how they were coming uh, to that uh, potential for colder weather in the first week of February. Remember, several of the ensemble members were uh, mild, though, for the uh, first week of February, big split. Um, and uh, so don't expect to see all of the ensemble members by any means looking cold. But we will see uh, individually how each one of these ensemble members is producing this cold weather through the early part of February. Uh, February. Just to say that um, the Spring Analogues update, part one, has uh, been released today as well. So this is your third video uh, today. Been a very busy day indeed. That Spring Analogues update is now on the uh, Spring Updates and Forecast page with a written post as well. So check that out and get to the link via the homepage where you are watching this uh, video. Right, so let's get on with the analogues update. We've got uh, all GFS Summer members to uh, get through. We're going to begin with the operational run, of course. We're starting in a week's time, which is Sunday 28th of January. Um, and in a week's time, the general idea is that next weekend we're going to have high-pressure building just to our south. So mild air is going to push up from uh, the southwest. Let's see what the operational GFS midday run uh, does as we go into the end of January and the start of February. So... Moving into the closing days, uh, closing phases of uh, January, we flatten off that ridge and move low pressure in from off the Atlantic, turning increasingly unsettled through the first days of uh, February. Then we build a ridge up across the country by the 4th of February, long way out, 336 hours, but we are building a ridge here across the UK and uh, Western Europe. Quite cold air on the eastern side of this ridge, plunging down through Scandinavia with this trough uh, just here. And then if we carry on running through to the end of this GFS run, eventually what happens is that we start to try and take that high pressure up towards Scandinavia by the 6th of February. But we do still have lots of low pressure out of the Atlantic. So whether we would ever get that high pressure Scandinavia, much less getting to an easy. If we could get into an easy, there's a big cold pool waiting across uh, eastern and northeastern parts of Europe. So if we could get into an easterly, uh, there'd be plenty of cold air to tap into. Just weather with such a strong polar vortex that we see here with these purple colours around Greenland and the North Atlantic, where we'd be able to build that ridge up over Greenland. That is quite uncertain. So anyway, that's how the operational, midday operational run of the GFS looks uh, for the very end of January in the start of February. Let's go through the ensemble members then. We're going to have a look at the uh, GF GFS control uh, run first of all. This is all at website, uh, wetcentral.d, by the way. You can find a link to Western Central on the uh, links page. So, again, starting in a week's time, we've got that ridge down to our south and southwest, bringing up these mild uh, southwesterly winds. We go through into the closing days of uh, January. We keep high pressure close to us until around the final day, and then we pull it out to our west with some slightly cooler air coming down uh, from the north. High pressure is never far away, though, so we keep it largely settled into the opening days of February. Notice all this cold air that's up over Scandinavia, though. That's in agreement with the operational GFS. And eventually, we are starting to try and get that high pressure more out to our northwest, but not really... Uh, succeeding in doing so, just keep high pressure close to the country. We are on the periphery, on the edges of quite cold weather just to our east and northeast. We're not quite able to tap into it. Nevertheless, this high pressure will probably bring us a good deal of fine settled and pretty cold weather as well. Will be night frost early and late. So that's the control. This is ensemble member number one. Again, in a week's time, we've got that mild ridge down to our southwest, bringing up those uh, southwesterly wings. We go into the final days of January. We turn the wings into the north. Could get some uh, wintry showers coming through there. Another northerly shot comes through on the 2nd of February. Uh, all the time that high pressure is out to our west. And then we're going through the first week of February with the ridge very close to us. But it is trying to build up 
towards uh, Scandinavia. So, a lot of dry weather here for the very end of January through the first week of February, and sometimes uh, quite cold as well. This ensemble member number two, the mild ridge is in on uh, Sunday. We go through this first uh, sort of days of January through the first week of January and we keep that high pressure generally centering to our south southwest very similar to what the operational GFS is doing and in fact by the as far as we go 384 hours away and some member number two is turning quite stormy and that's always uh, mild there with ensemble member number two ensemble member number three looks like that mild uh, up to the weekend next weekend uh, then the high pressure shifts more to our east so so, um, having a go at getting that high pressure up towards Scandinavia, but not really pulling it off. Low pressure is coming in from off the Atlantic. Although, late on, Scandinavian high is building there uh, over sort of Norway and Sweden. So, we finish up actually pulling in a cold easterly wind. That uh, takes a long time to get to anything interesting. But eventually, by the end of that ensemble member, by the 6th of February, we are into really quite a cold easterly with ensemble member number three. Ensemble member number four has that mild ridge across the country next weekend as we go through into uh, the final days of January. It turns more and more unsettled. A little bit stormy there, perhaps, around the 2nd of uh, January on Candlemas Day. And then we go through uh, into further into the first week of February. And uh, high pressure just remains close to the country. So after that little stormier interlude right at the very start of February, back to mostly dry and uh, settled weather then. Ensemble member number five looks like that. A mild ridge across the country uh, as we uh, go through next weekend. That continues into the closing days of January. Then we're pulling that ridge a little bit towards our west. So it is turning a little bit colder, or trying to uh, anyway, not really coming off to anything though. We finish up in a flat westerly flow, quite mild with ensemble member number five to uh, finish. On some member number six, again, has that ridge down to our southwest uh, next weekend. Looks uh, quite dry and uh, mild as well. We go into the opening days of February and we start to uh, move that sh uh, ridge to the north. And it is heading up towards Scandinavia as well. So here we go. We're trying to get into an easterly wind. And in fact, as we get up, to, as far as we can go, to the 6th of February, we're pulling in quite a cold east to southeasterly wind there with high pressure. <coughs> excuse me, properly blocking things out over Scandinavia. And there is a deep cold pool sitting across central parts of Europe, so if you could run on another day or two, I suspect we would tap in to that very cold air that sits across eastern parts of Europe. So on member number seven, uh, the mild ridge is in across the country next weekend. What uh, happens as we go into the closing days of January and the start of February? We just keep that ridge close to us up to the 1st of February. Uh, we try and pull in some northerly winds, but that mostly uh, pushes down into Scandinavia, courtesy of this trough uh, just here. And then we run through the first week of February, and eventually we do pull down uh, really quite a bitterly cold northerly wind. So that turns very wintry uh, later on in the first week of February. Proper northerly winds start to plunge down across the country then. Several of these ensemble members are looking quite cold through this first week of February. We're up to ensemble member number eight. We have this weak ridge across the uh, country next weekend. Or quite a big ridge across the country next weekend, bringing plenty of dry and mild weather. That ridge continues as we run into the opening days of February. Then it's turning a little bit more unsettled, those low pressures to our north. Uh, we get through late into the first week of February. And this will just keep that ridge down to ourselves. So it keeps it generally mild and mainly dry for southern areas, a little bit more unsettled in the north through the first week of February. On top of member number nine, again, the, week, uh, the warm ridge is there next weekend. And then we flatten that off and turn things very unsettled by the final day of January, turning wet and windy. And then through the first week of February, unsettled to start with and uh, then quite cold with those uh, northerly winds. After that, further into the first week, we build this ridge in from off the Atlantic. So mainly dry but cold then 
as we go through the first week of February. Not as cold as some of the ensemble members that we've seen. Ensemble member number 10, halfway through, shows the warm ridge next weekend. And then beyond that, uh, we move that ridge away, trying to take it up towards Scandinavia. So we've got a battle going on here through the first week of February. We've got deep low pressure in the Atlantic, high pressure building over Scandinavia, leaving us leaving us in a bit of a no-man's land with those uh, southerly wings. What happens as we get further on, uh, where we find a big ridge here building up to the northeast. Although, as far as we can go, we're actually mild up to the 6th of February. We remain in an Atlantic flow. But look how big the ridge is across Scandinavia and stretching back up into the Arctic. That could go into very cold easterly wind shortly afterwards. This is ensemble member number 11, generally dry and mild next weekend that high pressure sticks around into the closing days of January and it's still there even into the opening days of February eventually it's turning more unsettled to our north but generally we're just keeping that ridge close to us throughout the uh, run of our member number 11 that's generally mild but um dry conditions there for the first week of February number 12 looks like that it's uh, mild and pretty dry probably very cloudy next weekend and then after that turning more unsettled and a little bit colder as well then we build that ridge through the country as we go into uh the first week of february so yeah nothing really doing from a cold perspective with number 12 number 13 again the mild ridge is in next weekend that's broken down as we go into the closing days of uh, january this is the first of february with high pressure sitting over the top of the country and stretching into europe as well and then we move that high pressure up towards scandinavia as we go through the first week of february trying to get ourselves into an easterly wind we've got a proper scandinavian high there and again, trying to get into East Wind. That's certainly colder, but mainly dry. Um, you want pressure to fall across the Mediterranean to pull in a proper easterly. So it isn't a proper easterly, but it is cold and dry there. Uh, by the 6th of February. Number 14, uh, mild over the uh, weekend and uh, dry as well. Then we take that high pressure out to our west and pull down some slightly colder uh, northerly winds. And then we keep high pressure close to the country as we go through the first week of uh, February. We're taking it more up towards Scandinavia, but uh, this one keeps us in generally quite a mild westerly flow up to the end of the run, which is the 6th of February. Uh, this is number 15, again, with high pressure to the south, low pressure up to uh, the north as well next weekend. And then we pull down those cold northerly winds through the opening days of February. Don't last too long. Uh, and we go back into westerlies, and it's generally quiet and mild there uh, with ensemble member number 15. Number 16 of the mild ridges in next weekend, and then we go through into the extended range, keeping that high pressure close to the country. This is centering over the country, so it's probably mostly cold and frosty until late on when we go into a flatter type pattern. We're also getting more milder uh, ensemble members appearing as we're getting into these final ones. This is is uh, number 17 again mild and dry next weekend then it turns unsettled into the first days of February pulling down some cold northerly winds temporarily uh, and then quite unsettled and stormy uh, through the first week of February we finish up uh, looking like that on the 6th of February with high pressure around Iceland so that one is going colder, uh, perhaps very cold and wintry by the 6th of February on some member 17. 18 uh, mild and dry with the ridge uh, over weekend and then we go into the very first days of February and it turns increasingly unsettled quite uh, stormy for a time before we pull down some colder air uh, from the north we finish up looking like that not overly cold still centering under that ridge number 19 has the high pressure south, below pressure to the north next weekend uh, we keep that high pressure in control of the weather as we go through into uh, the opening days of February. A lot of dry weather with that, very frosty uh, as well, I would have thought. Eventually, that high pressure is starting to get broken down and it's turning more unsettled, although it clings on to the south. And then finally, for ensemble member number 20, we look like that next weekend, mainly dry, mild and quiet, if uh, rather cloudy. Then it's turning unsettled, maybe a little bit stormy there for the 1st of February, with the winds going into the north. That's starting to bring some colder air back in from the north. And then we start to build the ridge out to the west 
west to the northwest. So this is turning increasingly cold and uh, wintry. We finish up by the 6th February. We finish up with a cold ensemble member for number 20 with high pressure over Iceland and Greenland, low pressure across Central Europe, and we're putting in these cold north to northeasterly winds. So it looks like uh, the rest of January is going to have very little cold weather. Uh, what's going to happen is that this week is going to see um, mild conditions. There will be a bit of a colder snap at the end of this week, just to start the coming weekend. But by the end of the coming weekend, where we're starting off at with these ensemble members on, uh, I think it's next Sunday, uh, by then milder air has infiltrated across the whole of the country, and that carries us through then, generally with these ensemble members, through the rest to the end of January. It's through this first week of February, we do have the potential for some colder weather to be appearing here. Uh, it's probably not quite a 50-50 split between the colder and milder ensemble members, so it probably just does favour a little bit things staying mild through that first week of February. But uh, I will be focusing on the first week of February for the chance, no more than that, for the chance of our next dose of uh, cold and uh, wintry weather. So it's been a very on-off winter. Um, every week has alternated uh, between milder conditions and colder conditions, and uh, that could well carry on into February. So the first week of February, I think, is when we're focusing on now for our, the chance of our next uh, notable sort of cold spell of weather. Whether it actually comes off, uh, we have to wait and see on that, of course, because it's far too far away have any confidence about. Right, that's it for uh, all of today's videos. Hope you found them interesting and informative. I think all of them together, we've gone over an hour. So I uh, hope you found all of the different updates we've done today uh, uh, to be interesting and informative. Tomorrow, uh, we're back to normal. Just probably one update coming up tomorrow, looking at the next week, 10 days. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.